If you're wondering how you can create a brick wall pattern in Illustrator, then you're in the right place. Hi there everyone, my name is Andre Mayus. I've been working in Illustrator for over 10 years. And in this same Battle Class Plus tutorial, I put my experience to use as I show you step by step how you can create this seamless brick wall pattern using Adobe Illustrator. Let's create a new document. Select pixels from this drop down menu. Set the width and the height to 850 pixels. Make sure that the color mode is set to RGB and the resolution to 72 pixels per inch. And then you can create your new document. Press Ctrl and 0 to fit the artboard on your entire screen. Go to Window in the menu bar and first of all make sure that the control panel is active. And then open all the panels that have this check mark. Once you're done, go to View and show grid which would enable the grid go again to view to enable the snap to grid and for this tutorial you need a grid line every 10 pixels so let's go to edit preferences guides and grid and all you have to do is enter 10 in this grid line every box click ok to apply the changes and let's start by selecting the rectangle tool from the toolbar use it to create a simple shape the size does not matter i hope Select the stroke and remove the color. Select the fill and replace it with 152, 34, and 24. Then switch to the selection tool. Hold down the Alt key and drag a copy of this shape to the right. Keep it selected and set the fill color to 232, 124, and 66. Continue with the blend tool and click your two shapes to create a new blend. Let's adjust the settings of this blend, so go to Object, Blend and Blend Options. Select Specify Steps and lower this value to only 5. Click OK. Now let's expand this blend by going to Object and Expand. Click OK. Now that we have these separate shapes, let's save these colors as we're about to use them to color the bricks. Move to the Swatches panel. Simply click this button to save these colors inside a new group. Make sure that you have this box checked. Click OK and now your colors are saved. Feel free to remove these shapes and reselect the rectangle tool. Use it to create a 140 by 40 pixels rectangle. Switch to the direct selection tool so that you can set the corners radius to 4 pixels. And then go to Effect, Distort and Transform and Transform. Set the number of copies to 3 and then drag this horizontal slider to 150 pixels. Click OK to apply this effect and let's go one more time to Effect, Distort and Transform and Transform. This time you need to set the number of copies to 8. Set this move horizontal slider to 70 and the vertical one to 50. And most importantly you need to check this Reflect X box. Click OK to apply this second effect. Let's expand it by going to Object and Expand Appearance. And then you need to press Shift, Ctrl, and G several times to ungroup all of these subgroups. Now that you have your brick shapes, let's color them using the colors from this group. Start with these three shapes and keep in mind that you need to hold down the Shift key to add to your selection more than one shape. We'll use the first color from the group. Continue with these two shapes and use your second color. Then select these five shapes and apply the next color. Moving to these six shapes, we'll use the middle color. Next, you need to select all of these shapes. And apply this color. And then finally select these five shapes and apply this color. For the remaining shapes, make sure that you're applying the final color, which in my case is already applied. Now you can use the selection tool to select all of these shapes. Press Ctrl and G to group them. Then press Ctrl C and Ctrl F to add a copy of the group in front. Let's fill these copies with black. Then turn this group of shapes into a single compound path by going to Object. Compound path and make. Let's move this compound path below the group. Make sure that you keep it selected. And first of all, go to effect, path, and offset path. 
set the offset to 2 pixels, click OK, and then go to Effect, Restore and Transform, and Roughen. We'll check these two boxes, set the size to only 1 pixel, and keep the detail to 10. Click OK to apply this second effect. And let's go one more time to Effect in the menu bar, but this time select Distort and Transform, and Transform. All you have to do is drag this Move Vertical Slider to 3 pixels, which will move your black compound path 3 pixels down. Click OK. Let's lower the opacity of this black compound path to 30%. Don't forget to also change the blending mode to Soft Light. And now you need to reselect your group. Go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Roughen. Lower the size to 1, keep the detail to 10. Again, check these two boxes. Click OK to apply this effect, which will slightly distort your brick shapes. And then you need to reselect the rectangle tool. Use it to create a 450 by 400 pixels shape. Fill it with 102, 34, and 24. Let's move this rectangle in this exact position. Right click it and go to Arrange and Set to Back, which remove your selection behind the rest of the design. Next, you'll need some textures from this Envato Elements Textures Pack, so let's download it. First, you'll need texture number 11, so let's open it. Select it and press Ctrl C to copy it. Close this document. Press Ctrl V to paste the texture. Move to the control panel and lower the width of your selection to 850. Make sure that the color is set to black. Move your texture roughly in this position. And then lower the opacity to 50%. And also change the blending mode to soft light. Get back to that set of textures and open texture number 10. Again, select it and copy it. Paste it. Make it 850 pixels wide. Drag it on top of your brick wall. Replace the fill color with white. Lower the opacity to 50% and don't forget to change the blending mode to overlay. And then move to the layers panel. Select this rectangle, press Ctrl C to copy it, and then Ctrl Shift and V, which will add a copy in the same place on top of the rest of your design. You need to remove the fill color of this shape, which will basically make it invisible. Drag it all the way to the bottom of the layers panel behind the rest of your design. And now thanks to this invisible shape, and because it lies behind the rest of the shapes which will make up your pattern, the edges of this shape will dictate the boundaries for the pattern which we are about to save. All you have to do is select all of your shapes and simply drag them inside the swatches panel to save them as a pattern. Now, if you use the rectangle tool or any shape tool and create a new shape, you can easily fill it with your brick wall pattern. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out Envato Elements, where you can get unlimited downloads of stock videos, music, graphics, photos, fonts, and many more. There's millions of creative assets, all ready to use and with simple commercial licensing. You can subscribe right now with the link in the description. Remember to hit that like button as it lets me know that I did a good job. Subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorials. I'm Andrei Marius and I'll see you in the next video.